Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm so excited to be on and stamping with you guys. It is the official final week of celebration, and that makes me a little sad, um, but I am super excited for March because that means spring is near, and uh, these last couple days of warmer weather have been phenomenal, um, and I can't wait for spring. So, I'm going to be showing you guys so much amazing celebration stuff um, to inspire you with the stuff that maybe you have already earned um, or get you excited on um, getting those items on your wish list so that you can earn these celebration items as well. Um, so today I'm actually showing you some products that I did um, with the Friendly Hello. I actually, I have another one. Well, I'll still show you this one, although this one um, is like half friendly hello, half island vibe. Um, so yeah, I'll show you um, these three projects. Um, these two cards I love. I love the color schemes. I love the flowers. You guys know how much I love flowers. This one, of course, has um, a little bit of Wink of Stella, so a little bit of shine and shimmer on... Um, on those flowers there. And then of course I have the, the jewels and stuff too, those iridescent rhinestones, which are stunning. And then this one uh, is a little bit more coloring than uh, I anticipated. At first I was just going to color the flowers that are around the hello friend. Um, and then I decided to color all of it. And then I thought I would decide which one I liked better. And like, I feel like I have to do two cards to be able to do that. So now that I've done this one, I might stop on the one that I'm going to show you guys today and, um, and we'll see how that goes. So, uh, these both use the, um, the friendly hello stamp set. So this is a, um, $100 order level, um, celebration item. So it comes with this stamp set that has 13 images as well as a pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper. So that's super awesome. Um, a great bundle of coordinating products, um, and it's 12 by 12. The colors in the paper pack are super stunning. They're like great pastels. Um, it's got the black, and then it's got fresh freesia, that um, light purple color, granny apple green, which is this green color, um, pale papaya, which is this um, like orangey color. Um, Actually, they call it petal pink, but I think you could really go pale papaya with some of this too um, because it has those variations in shades, but it petal pink, pool party, and shaded spruce. So I know this um, pack of paper isn't a full pack, um, but you can see all those fun colors like springy pastels. Um, it's more solid on one side like this, and then it's got those... Um, those multicolored uh, patterns and prints on the back side, but like stripes and dots and flowers and birds and like there's a little bit more of that like solid print, um, solid green, solid um, petal pink. Like I said, um, actually, wait, maybe pale papaya doesn't go with that very well. I mean maybe not really, just kind of depends. I guess it's because I use pale papaya um, with the other prints and that's why like I felt like it went I, it went with it. But um, anyway, let's get started on these cards. First, I'm gonna show you this one. This one, I really let the designer series paper do all the work um, and just like added little accent pieces. So as you can see, I actually went black on both of them, uh, which is fun because then you can really pick whatever color you want um, to be like, like for this one, it doesn't have to be um, pool party and Calypso coral. You could do pinks and purples and greens and yellows and like you could really do any of those um, and the card would look fabulous. So the awesome thing about that is, um, is that then I can like mix and match and not like overwhelm a certain marker color or anything like that. So we're going to do um, a layer of pool party directly on the basic black card base. So um, the basic black card base is uh, five and a half by eight and a half. The pool party is four by five and a quarter. 
And then our designer paper is three and three quarters by five. And this print is super fabulous to do any color of flower on the background. So or like this would be a great background to do any color on the front um, because it's just that like green greenery pattern, like kind of gives like a little of a island vibe in my opinion, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm using the printed pool party side. And at first I kind of wondered like, what was the right side up with this? Because the birds go in every direction. Like this bird's like tilted up, this bird's upside down, this one's sideways. But like if we did it like this, this one's perfect. This one's a little tilted down and this one's upside down. If we did it like this, they're like all over the place. So just so you know, there's no right or wrong way um, to put this paper because it's just all over the place. So no worries on that. There's no like up or down piece um, to that paper. So you're all good. Now we're going to layer all of our pieces. Oh, I forgot um, my black layer. Let's see. This one here. So now I literally have all three layers of basic black pool party and then the white. The white I'm going to stamp that hello friend on. And since it is, well, we have a marker stuck to it. Um, since it is a more solid image with that hello, actually the friend is quite, um, quite solid as well. I actually use the foam mat from my, um, my Stamparatus to make sure that I kind of had like a nice, um, squish surface to be able to, uh, get a nice clean stamp. So first things first, we want to make sure we ink it up really well. So a basic tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap is better than like just squishing it in because when you squish it in, the ink just like squishes to the side and doesn't actually like cover the image. So you just want to like tap, 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 possibly even move around the ink pad because the ink pad could have like varying levels of ink. If you always are stamping in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, then the middle is going to kind of be used up, whereas the sides will be inkier. Okay, and we can see it's nice and inked up. And then now we stamp it down. And there we have, hello friend. Oop, we still need that. We need to stamp the flowers. The flowers for this are actually like dual flowers. Like they're stuck together. So I didn't actually like overlap them or anything. Um, I simply just stamp them as one. And then I fussy cut those out. So I'm not gonna actually fussy cut those out um, on camera with you guys because, well, one, I'm a slow fussy cutter and two, you guys all probably know how to fussy cut. So. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. We decided um, to actually go to my parents yesterday and enjoy the warm weather and spend some time on the farm. Me and Claire and my mom, um, actually we all went for a walk or started the walk and then Brad and Alex turned back around. Brad had Alex on the carrier on his back and it was quite muddy and slushy and so he decided to turn around um, partially because he didn't feel like getting muddy and slushy and um, having Alex on your back. So it's like having 25 pounds of wiggle going on on your back that he was like, yeah, I, I think I'm good. I think we'll turn around. And he said by the time he got back to the house, Alex was kind of like over being in the carrier anyway. Um, and I'm glad he did because we ended up like going up a hill and down a hill and around. And like he, w with Alex on his back wiggling around, he probably would have slipped and fallen. <laughs> fallen on the mud. Um, and we definitely don't need that. So, um, so that was good, but Claire and I had fun. She, uh, her pink socks were Brown her, like she wore her Crocs. So her feet were soaking wet, but I love Crocs because we just sprayed them off and they were good. Um, and I knew that we were going to go for a walk. So I, um, I brought extra clothes and, um, and had like extra shoes and socks and everything for her. So it was no big deal. Okay, I'm just getting some black scrap. Um, and I actually use the twig punch. 
And I'm just going to punch out a few of those. You can punch out like two or three and use a ton, but you can also like rip them apart. Like, so they kind of look like reindeer antlers, um, but you can also like rip them apart and then you have two. And so after I fussy cut out my flowers, then I added some of those twigs behind, like this one I did as a full twig, and then this one I split in half. And then I just layered that on the edge there. And I did add the Wink of Stella to my flowers. So I really just colored like the center and then did like all of those lines of the flower. Wow, that's a lot. Oh no, that might be too much or I might be able to, to brush it out a little. I knew I shouldn't have squeezed that hard. I don't know, I might still use it. It depends on how well it dries. Um, but there's a lot of glitter on the inside of, of that second flower there because you guys can really see it glittery. <laughs> So do you think I should still use it super glittery like that? Or do you think um, do you think I should stamp it again? And I'm glad I didn't fussy cut it out because that would have been like wasted fussy cut if I decide not to use it. But anyway, um, then I added the iridescent rhinestones. So subtle wink of Stella, not so subtle, subtle wink of Stella. But anyway, that's card one. And then now I wanna show you how I did this Hello Friend um, colored one. This one, I just took a piece of um, Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. And I'm gonna stamp that double flower all over this piece. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. We're gonna stamp Hello Friend first in the middle. Don't worry, as in the middle as possible. It's okay if it's not perfectly centered. Made with love, not perfection. Okay, so now we have our hello friend. And then now we're just going to stamp all around. I feel like I wanted to rotate it, but then I wasn't sure. I don't know. Little right there. Maybe even a smidge right there. Okay, so now we have our card front and we're done with that. And then what I did is I took my layering circles. You could really use any sort of framelit, but I took my layering circles and I have my circle and then I took the, um, the next one up of the scallop. So we're gonna take the layering circle this actually requires like the big, big one. So I can't use my mini. Okay. And put that in the middle to die cut. Hello, friend. And here we go to die cut it out with my cereal bowl of a... clear plate, a little shaky on my table. Okay. So now we have Hello Friend and we have this and, um, and then you can color and you can color it in any shade pattern, anything that you want, multicolor, one color. And then what I did is I added this to my card front, took that scallop black, layered the hello friend, and then like puzzle pieced it back in there. 
So it still has that same look where the flower is just popped up, but yet it still matches right there and it looks super, super fabulous. I feel like I wanna do this one um, in some purple. So here I have my Highland Heather. But I feel like I need dark Highland Heather too. So, So I'm doing the dark Highland Heather on all those like floral lines. And then I'll do the light Highland Heather all over. I know I'm like the worst at coloring and talking at the same time, so I apologize for that. But I just get so nervous, I don't know why. Okay, so now the big question is, would you leave it... Where some like I will admit I was like, okay, wait, now I don't know which way this goes. Okay, it goes like that. Would you leave it and only do the flowers around and make it sort of like that black and white color look? Um, or would you color all of them? Which one do you like better? Let me pull in the original. So do you think I should color all of them like I did with this one? I colored the popped up ones and the ones in the background. Or do you like it better where they're all black and white except for right here where the hello friend is? Let me know which one you guys like better. Um, and then like, so this one, I almost, if I did it like this, I almost would want to do the background as purple, like the card base as purple rather than black. Um, but again, like you can really kind of play with that and make it however you wish. Um, I then added black matte dots to all of them, like just to kind of add it around. Um, uh, I will not lie to you guys. That one was necessary because I had an ink smudge, but I still think the black matte dots are fabulous there. Anyway, after all, we embellish to cover up, right? Right? Am I right? Just me? Um, anyway, yeah, so I had to put one there and then um, just filled in. And that's kind of why I did five instead of three because I did these three and then that one and then I felt like it needed a fifth one down there. Um, so yeah, that's where um, where that comes in. But yeah, I don't know, like I'm so torn on whether I like it like this um, where just the center ones are um, are colored or whether I like it where it's all colored. I, I do love the all colored one, but I feel like this one is like a whole new like technique in itself. But that is how um, you create these two cards. Um, whoop, there's a little extra there. And then I just wanted to show you, I made this little um, mini jam jar and um, I actually use the Island Vibe. Um, as well as the special moments with the greeting, just a little high from me, um, but the the pumpkin, um, the pineapple, and then just a little high from me. But then I use um, some of this green paper from the Friendly Hello and, um, and put a few uh, Reese's in there, which I had to hide the container of Reese's um, because otherwise I'll eat them all. So they are currently hidden, um, and I don't know where they are. 
Um, also, Claire needs to stop eating them, too. <laughs> she came down here and she's like, oh, can I have one of these? So, like, I gave her one and I'm like, these need to go up. And then when I came down this morning, I was like, oh, those need to go away. I don't need one. I don't need one. I feel like right there, I felt like that was the SpongeBob episode where he's like, I don't need one. I don't, I need one. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a cloudy cold. It's actually not cold yet, but it's supposed to be getting cold. Cloudy and rainy day though. But yeah, here are um, three projects using the Friendly Hello stamp set as well as that beautiful designer series paper that is 12 by 12. This is a free celebration item with a $100 level order. Um, or you could always pick out two of the $50 level items um, with your $100 order. And you guys have less than a week left of celebration. So now is the time to stock up. Now is the time to think about those future projects you might need. Now is the time to just go ahead and get that item that has been on your wish list because you'll earn free stuff while getting it. And who doesn't love free stuff? So um, stay tuned as I have more celebration goodies to share with you this week, um, as well as next Monday, because, you know, next Monday is the official last day. Um, and also, um, I do have my March online stamp class uh, available. So um, I do have a link for that. I can put it um, on here as well. Or you can say, um, send me the online class stuff and I can give you all the details for that um, as I will, ha will have kits going out this week for that. It's on the horizon. So super excited about that. I did get it out last weekend uh, or last week. And then all of those who had messaged me that they were interested got first dibs on it um, before I sent it out to everyone else. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thanks for stamping with me. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Love, hugs, and prayers to all of you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay dry out in that rain. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.